Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 23rd to the 29th of March. We've just finished the first quarter and we're into spring and into the sign of Aries. I started to tape on the 21st uh, of March, so we were already in the energy of Aries, but something went wrong with the sound, so I had to start all over again. So let's get started with your reading. Uh, by the way, thank you very much my cyber angels for coming back and welcome and thank you for your support. Without you this channel wouldn't be anything. We make it together, together we stand strong. And of course to the new Pisarians, welcome. And if you would like to join us live then I go live on Monday evening and Friday evening. That is English language and on Wednesday I go a life in Dutch as this is a bilingual language so if you can speak Dutch by any chance then you're more than welcome to join on Wednesday there's super chats available and super stickers you know the rigmarole if you follow other channels and you can find all the information down there and please subscribe and hit the bell okay let's get started I'm using the answer of the angel deck the goddess deck and the inspiring deck from Wayne Dyer and the Lenormand and I'm also using the bottom of the cards your first card is the mask and the mask is in the row of the past this is usually my re uh, reading that I do for extensive readings uh, by the way and this is the present and this is the possible future the energy for in the future remember this is a general reading but still you are in your own power to decide what to do with the energy that you get to hear in this reading if it doesn't resonate with you you can go to your moon sign and your rising sign I also read the cards that way and uh, horizontally and the diamond shape <coughs> you can get a lot of information from such a small reading but I'm only doing the three rows as I said because this is a weekly and I can't go into it for 45 to 60 minutes okay like I said you have the mask so you might be not feeling very well and putting on a brave face or you might be pretending towards uh, your surroundings at work or um, at home that you are happy and you're not really happy and that could be because we've got the national lockdown everybody has to get stay home and you want peace and quiet to work and you're putting a brave face on a happy face for the family you know try to withdraw if you've got an attic or a small room try to withdraw so you can do your work remember you're not the only one that's feeling the pinch of sticking and being together all the time I know in the olden days it was much safer for your children to play out there we had a different life as children if you are around 50 and upwards and the children have less space and a more of a dangerous environment because uh, we older generation uh, we have plucked the, the earth bare and we should be putting it back we should take care of the environment this what is happening now in the environment I'm not going to address the name of the situation because I'm not going to feed it power I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon with everybody going on about it I'm sick of it and fed up with it but I'm conscious of it and I'm not going to feed it power I'm not going to mention the name we are we know what uh, where we are and what is happening around us and we have to be more conscious of being social standing together I've been shouting it for two years now together we stand strong there needs to be more solidarity so take off that mask and go outside and take the dog for a walk or go by for a walk or a cycle ride but take your distance from the person next to you even if they are family 
Some family members do have to go out to work so they can bring in germs. So be conscious, conscious of it. Everybody is feeling like you, putting a brave face on it. But this could also be with an other issue in the past, okay? There might have been arguments or disagreements and that's why you're putting a brave face on it. It could be with an other woman, it could be your sister, it could be your mother, somebody that is waiting for love. It could also be with an air sign because I'm seeing not the clover but the spades and I always forget the names of these, these signs. Okay, it's the ace of spades uh, in the cartomancy car deck. And the uh, Gira Manchetti's put the cartomancy in here, the numerology and the Lenemann. But the Lenemann, this is the Lenemann deck, so and that's prominent. But it could be with an air sign, it could be with any woman, but it could be with a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. And they can be sharp-tongued and they can be quick in saying things and sometimes they say things that they don't mean because they don't stop to think sometimes when although they stand for communication and thinking they're sometimes too quick but they are passionate believe me they are passionate they love and they protect what they love and whom they love because they are yeah protectors like you see michael he's an air sign he's also the archangel uh, throat chakra he's talking and gemini uh, <coughs> uh, stand for communication so if it is with a gemini take it with a pinch of salt because they are loyal they'll trustworthy and that's why they stand for the sword justice, clarity and honesty and sometimes the truth can hurt. So think about this argument or disagreement that you had and perhaps they were the one that uh, are wearing a mask. They are pretending to be well and, and efficient and happy when they're not because they're always their mind is always going round and round and round. So forgive and forget. Talk it out. They stand for communication. They love to talk listen to what they have to say and take off that mask and let them take off that mask ask them how are you what are you feeling okay in the second row <coughs> we have the bridge you've crossed lots of bridges that is above you okay this is you that's the center card i take as my querent so you've crossed a lot of bridges Okay, Pisces, you've come a far, far way. Perhaps you've had to make, build bridges. Perhaps you've had to build bridges between a woman or an air sign and yourself or somebody else. Perhaps you've been the mediator. We do have the heart, which is the love card and passion card underneath the deck. Perhaps... Um, you have been instructing and guiding two people this doesn't have to be you and i say like you the mediator you've been building bridges between these two because they were arguing in the past the past can be 10 minutes ago the past can be a day or a week or a month in i'm taking the period from the first of january the third quarter <coughs> excuse me you've uh, had to dis to do more research with this argument perhaps or with this whole situation but you've had to get more information to be able to cross the bridge um, and get to your goal your wish is coming true because it's lying underneath you and perhaps you had to strate strategically plan your way like the maps on in the background you've had to strategically plan your way navigate your way because in the old days they used to navigate by the stars so <coughs> excuse me uh, there's a lot of flu going around like we all know um so stay healthy um so the the star means your goal or your wish is coming true and you've had to navigate by getting more information looking at maps looking at plants re re uh, 
uh, re-evaluate so that you can be who you wish to be okay now for the last in the future you've got the owls and the owls means officiality officiality that's the birds in the first place it means news there might be meetings there might be gatherings there might be presentations now also somebody might have flown the group or left the coop and we all know that the coop is the house so somebody might have left the family circle um, or left the uh, working uh, our working circle so somebody might have moved on to an other job or an other study okay but you are going to receive news you could be receiving official news this could be about anything something that you're not happy about and you've done more research like Sherlock Holmes and your wish is to take this to court to get justice and clarity so that you can cross that bridge bridge uh, this could be with immigration that you needed to do more research search what your right was to immigrate to another country because you can see one country here and the other country on the other side so you're getting your official papers perhaps your wish was to get married and you had to do more research with regarding the situation now you can official papers it could also be a diploma or a certificate of a kind because we've got the book lying above it the book means a new study or studying <clears throat> and you've got a clock on the book so now is the time to start this new study or finish this study but there's also secrets you can see there's a clock on the front of the book and a lock so that means that there are secrets it's like a di diary locked up behind a key to, for time to keep it safe for a lifetime who knows and again we've got the letter so that's the confirmation of the birds that you're going to get news and we've got the seal on the letter so again confirmation that it might be official you've got number seven here and you've got number seven there the seven of coins and the seven of swords of air <coughs> so there and swords stand for justice so there again that's your legalities uh, perhaps you might uh, they stand for communication uh, and wisdom so that is your study and the communication the news that you are going to receive is oh, official okay <clears throat> now underneath the deck sorry about this uh, we have the heart so like I said somebody in a relationship uh, could be wearing a mask or you could be wearing a mask or you are going to start a new study or you're going to get official news with regarding to matters of the heart this could be love this could be passion about a job about a project this could also be that um, uh, a hobby could turn into an official job that you'll be working from home and that would be great nowadays especially in this time so that you're passionate about and you've got the official okay you've got the certificate you're legal to have your own business and you've done the research so your hard work will be paying off now reconnect to your source of being <clears throat> that's a beach and a lake so go to the beach or the lake to get your new ideas or go out there like I said take your family out but keep the distance from each other when you're inspired you reconnect to your source of being you go beyond the world of limitations and enter a space of creative knowing 
as you move into a state of inspiration by feeling connected to a great purpose or an extraordinary project, you surrender, reconnect to your source. What did I say? Perhaps your hobby might turn into a career. Wow. This is pink. That means love. That's the heart chakra, Archangel Haniel, Shamiel. And then we have Ochnas, Ochnas, the goddess of Ochnas. Take it slowly, take it slowly. It is, there is no, uh, no, uh, there is no need to hurry. Don't force things. Everything will happen in the divine time. Wow. It is in Dutch, so that's why I took time to translate it. It just says, don't hurry. The answer of the angels is, the situation will improve. Now that you've got the information, that you need and there don't have to be any more secrets you can confront the person that has disagreements or arguments this could be the person that you are the mediator for or this could be somebody that you had a disagreement about let them talk let them open up their heart and tell you the truth confront them but do it gently you don't have to hurry you can take your time okay that is what the goddess Onach says okay i hope you have enjoyed this reading i wish you a beautiful week and i hope to see you in the live sessions on monday or friday night take care and be blessed please like and share with family and friends and remember together we stand strong so if you um are going somewhere and you know somebody needs a helping hand a listening ear phone them up keep your distance do so your neighbors shopping or bring something to the laundrette if they are open so that you help we all help each other and we'll get through this difficult time just talk to your angel this is a first reading that an angel came into me so ask uh, Archangel Shamuel for your for help and guidance be blessed and have a beautiful week mm -hmm.